Today we're going to be taking a look at Monocure 3D CMYK Resin Die Kit. This is a special die that you add to either clear or white resin to give it a custom color because they don't make um, 3D printing resins in every color you could possibly think of. There's only a few. So this is where this kit comes in. Now it's in CMYK same as um, an inkjet printer. So you got the same four colors, cyan, magenta, yellow, and black, um, which is the same colors that your printer uses to make colors when you print out on a piece of paper. The kit also comes with a set of um, mixing sticks and a sticker. That was giving me a pain to get out of this packaging. You always want to wear gloves when handling resin and this die in particular is um, pretty, I'm guessing it's pretty um, strong because the bottle says do not spill. So be careful not to spill on anything you don't mind throwing away. Now we're going to mix up a small ba a batch of um, clear resin. I'm going to dye it orange for a Dragon Ball Z project I'm currently working on. So this recipe, I looked up the CMYK values on the, on the internet, on the computer, and it used calls for magenta and yellow. I'm using Syriatex Simple Resin, because it's clear, and it's also easy to clean, only 15% isopropyl alcohol. So I have out my gram scale and Amazon basic kitchen scale, and I'm gonna measure out 100 grams of dye. Um, that's the recommended um, dye amount you want that it, that uh, Monocure wants you to use. So that's what I'm going with. It's also a good small batch that should be um, good for, I think, good for most projects. Now that I have my resin measured out, I'm gonna add one drop of magenta to three drops yellow. That's a 30%, 33% magenta and 100% yellow. So I just converted that into four drop, three drops yellow, one drop um, magenta to get that ratio. Now mixing it up with a mixing stick. It turns orange really quick. Kind of reminds me of Kool-Aid or Tang. And right away I was like, this is gonna be the ideal color for the project I'm making it for. You want to make sure you stir this stuff real good to make sure all the dye gets incorporated throughout the resin. Now that the resin's mixed dyed, I went ahead and printed out um, the Dragon Balls from my Dragon Ball Z project on my Elgo Mars 3D printer. I think it came out nice. You can see the resin in the vat. Get the camera to focus here a little bit. You can see that they came out um, perfectly that I didn't um, mess with the resin at all. Um, Sorotech recommends that if you're gonna dye your resin, make sure you're not, you don't use alcohol-based dye. Let's close a look of the part before I cleaned it up. Now we have the parts cleaned up, um, washed and cured. You can see that it retained the detail. Um, it lost a little bit of the glossiness and that's natural with this resin, just through the cleaning process. Um, you can see this is the base that they go in. Um, and then these are the original ones I printed out in the same resin. 
as the um, Sariatek Fast Resin. Originally I was going to paint these orange, then I had an idea of, well I have some clear resin, um, maybe I should dye it orange, translucent orange, and use those and make it look that much better. And um, I'm going to put a gloss coat over it after I paint the stars, and that should bring it back to that glossy look. I also had went ahead and printed out an Eiffel Tower model, the classic 3D printer resin printer test print. I have never printed one of these before with my Mars. So I was like, figure it, why not? Since I already had the resin mixed. Um, I think it came out great. Um, you can see some damage that the model took um, when I was washing it, but the fine details are pretty impressive. I'm really impressed with this little 3D printer. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and check out some of my other videos. Next, see you next time.